Kardashians are one of the most talked about families on the planet and for reasons right or wrong, they've always managed to steal the spotlight. From their reality show, the multiple beauty and fashion businesses, to the unending stream of family drama, this family is an expert in hogging the headlines. They're reality TV royalty, wouldn't you agree? And just like royals, the Kardashian-Jenner empire includes an impressive real estate portfolio with a number of high-end mansions in their stable. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer and in this video, we're gonna go through the top 10 mansions owned by the Kardashian-Jenner clan and without further ado, let's get into it. The youngest of the Jenner sisters is quite the property magnate. At number 10, we have Kylie Jenner's first Hidden Hills home. The 24-year-old has already locked up and sold on a number of properties since buying her first home at the age of just 17. At the age of 18, when most girls are thinking about prom dates, Kylie was busy buying her second house in the celebrity hotspot of Hidden Hills in 2016. For $6 million, the mansion boasted 7,000 square feet of space and six bedrooms, all of which have their own ensuite bathrooms, and it was the first home that she purchased in the exclusive Hidden Hills community. Some of the amenities here were a solar heated swimming pool, private home theater, refrigerated wine cellar, spa, as well as a patio complete with a built-in barbecue. No biggie, just the regular stuff, right? And this was far from the only home Kai would buy in this neighborhood. At number nine, located at the posh estates of the Oaks guard-gated community, Kourtney Kardashian and her three kids call this six bedroom, 12,000 square foot Calabasas mansion home. Courtney and her ex, Scott Disick purchased the estate from former NFL player Keyshawn Johnson in 2014 for a whopping $8.5 million. The Mediterranean style house boasts six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a lounge, chef's kitchen, spa, sauna, Pilates room, and a home theater. Additional features are vaulted ceilings, a modern fireplace, and huge glass doors that open out onto the garden. Courtney said, I feel like your aesthetic is that every single thing should look nice, like whether it's a sponge in your kitchen or if it's the scissors that you use. I remember being like, Oh my god, you only live once. I need to have the best scissors. It's not that it's super expensive. I mean, I guess we think the same way, Court. We just don't have the dollars to drop. Well, I've worked with Jay Z, right. Kanye, but guess what? Right. I'm broke. At number eight, it's Kendall Jenner's house, which is actually Charlie Sheen's old house. Yep, you heard it right. Don't worry, Alan, I'm not touching the patients. <laughs> In 2017, Kendall purchased this Beverly Hills home for $8.55 million in the luxurious Mulholland Estates, a neighborhood that's home to celebrities like DJ Khaled and Christina Aguilera. This estate is actually the home that Charlie Sheen purchased for his ex-wife Brooke Mueller back in 2012. Built in 1991, this 6,625 square foot estate has five bedrooms and six bathrooms, a movie theater, office, family room, and a fully equipped kitchen. The outdoor space here flaunts a grassy backyard swimming pool with a spa alongside a fire pit and several entertaining areas including a tennis court and a huge playground. A self-proclaimed lover of meditation and tranquility, Kendall fitted her home with warm organic textures, earthy tones, and very comfortable furnishing. My life involves a lot of chaos and travel and high energy so I wanted a home that feels serene, a place where I can simply zone out and relax. Kendall said this to Architectural Digest. More power and peace to you Kendall, that's all we can say. Hi guys, I'm Kris Jenner. Come on in. Kardashian Jenner family isn't one to shy away from lavish real estate purchases. Mama Jenner is no different. At number seven, it's Kris Jenner's sprawling a $12 million home in La Quinta, California. This is a small city located within the Coachella Valley, and this is her vacation retreat. The home boasts 14,500 square feet of space, plus an additional 11,000 square feet of outdoor living space. With seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, coupled with an extravagant contemporary interior, the home also features a stunning backyard with a massive infinity pool and unobstructed views of the nearby golf course. There are also several large fire pits and plenty of outdoor seating, making it the perfect meetup spot for the family. This place looks more like a high class resort than a home. Now for number six. In October 2018, just eight months after the arrival of their first child Stormy, Kylie Jenner and boyfriend Travis Scott went halvesies and sealed the deal on a massive Beverly Hills home for $13.45 million. This mansion spreads over nine 
9,700 square feet with seven bedrooms and 10 baths. The main living spaces are all open plan while a vast glass wall retracts to offer seamless indoor outdoor living. European oak flooring and modern fixtures run throughout the home, which also includes a wine room, a three car garage, and a library. Outside, the patio and barbecue area drop down to a swimming pool and spa, making the backyard the ideal space for pool parties. It seems that with too many mansions to choose from, neither Kylie or Travis spend much time here anymore, but it's certainly been quite the investment. Halfway down our list and it's Mama Chris's Hidden Hills home. Chris bought this modern farmhouse style mansion in December 2017 for just under $10 million and hired acclaimed designers Tommy and Kathy Clements and Waldo Fernandez to give the place a sophisticated makeover. This mansion is reportedly located almost directly across the street from the Hidden Hills mansion of Kim Kardashian. The six bed, eight bath property offers a double height entrance hall that leads to the fireplace fitted living room. Glass doors in the common spaces open out onto the expansive garden that's packed with other family friendly features, including a pool, spa, covered terrace, barbecue area, and fire pit. Upstairs includes a second family room with a bar, several guest suites, and a gym. And those are just a few of the features. And number four is one of Khloe Kardashian's former pets. She purchased this Calabasas mansion from Justin Bieber for $7.2 million back in 2014. After living in Cleveland with boyfriend Tristan Thompson through her pregnancy, Khloe decided to move back to LA to raise her daughter True. This seven bedroom, six bathroom Spanish style home contains a number of Mediterranean inspired features, including vaulted ceilings, arched walkways, and distressed hardwood and terracotta floors. But what steals the limelight is the outdoor space with a lush green yard, a meditation area, an outdoor dining area, and its own private walking path flanked by oak trees. However, in November 2020, the star sold the property in an off market deal for $15.5 million to YouTube star Darman. That's one heck of a deal as that's more than double what she paid six years ago. And number three is a mansion that's minimalistic to say the least, Kim Kardashian and formerly Kanye West Diggs. The ex duo acquired the 9,000 square foot home in Bel Air for $11 million and did extensive renovations on it throughout the year. When they first bought this home, it had a very Mediterranean feel, but the power couple transformed it into a modern, minimalist, yet breathtaking abode. The six bedroom, eight bathroom Bel Air estate features a massive outdoor swimming pool, Florida ceiling automatic windows, panoramic city views, and a crisp white interior. The 3.5 acres of land also boasts two spas and its own vineyard. Just months before expecting their third child, Kim and Kanye sold this mansion for $18 million. Nearing the ends of our list and at number two, it's Kylie Jenner's current living quarters in Holmby Hill. Kylie's most recent property purchase was this single story modern home for $36.5 million, and it's in the same hood as the former Playboy Mansion. The home she shares with her daughter Stormy has seven bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a chef's kitchen, a bar and games room, a home cinema, and an outdoor projection screen. As if that's not enough, Kylie also has two guest apartments on the grounds for visiting friends and family. The compound is built with concrete exteriors that ensure the ultimate privacy but give way to open plan, light filled interiors. The inner house comes with entire walls of glass that slide open to reveal direct access to a central courtyard with a long rectangular pool, a spa, a dining area, a fire pit, and a sports court. Property also claims to have 20 parking spaces, a dedicated guardhouse, and a home gym. If you don't believe us, just check out Kai's Instagram and have a look-see for yourself. At number one, we have a home that's certainly an acquired cake, Kim and Kanye's Hidden Hills home. Or should I say museum? The former couple purchased this estate for a reported $20 million in 2014 and dropped another $20 million for top to bottom renovation. Just the money spent and changes made is enough for this crib to top the list. Kanye roped in Belgian art architect Axel Vervoort to create a living space with a restrained palette, almost church-like architecture and minimal furnishing. Kanye describes this style as a futuristic monastery. The family finally moved into the property in December 2017 and Kris Jenner tweeted in 2018 that the house is now worth $60 million. The home spans just over 15,600 square feet and although Kanye imposed a filming ban at the house, they've given us glimpses of the property through social media over the years. The eight bedroom home is equipped with with two pools, two kitchens, two spas, expansive lawns, and its own vineyard. Even after the duo split, the house remains to be Kim's primary residence. According to a source, Kanye lives elsewhere but is happy that Kim is staying at the family house. They both agree that the less stress the kids experience, the better. Kanye loves his kids and he wants them to be happy. All right, so which of those 10 Kardashian Jenner homes was your fave? I'm thinking maybe Kendall's since it has a bit of an old Hollywood feel to the property, or for something a little more modern, Kylie's current Homeby Hills 
house is super cool. Let us know your fave down in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat and thanks for watching, bye.